Hi, good morning and welcome to the ZP Vlog and Podcast. So today is the um, 20th of um, March 2022 and every Sunday at 8am London time we do a sort of retrospective look back at the news from Zimmer Peacock for this week. So we will sort of essentially jump straight into it. So one of the first things to kind of um, comment upon is that um, Zimmer Peacock, we're um, carrying a new range of what's called USB um, sized potential stats. I realize I actually have one here. So if you can hear the little wrinkling, I'm just getting one out of the package. So if you're watching the vlog, um, they're very small. Um, they fit into the USB port on a um, smartphone or on a um, PC. And um, they're good because they're sort of small and fairly powerful. And I think it also says a lot about um, electrochemistry. I've said this in the past, but electrochemistry is one of the few kind of analytical sciences where you can truly have a very shrunk down um, set of electronics, um, miniaturized electronics, and you can actually have very little sample preparation in order to actually do a um, electrochemical measurement. So on our website um, this week, we've um, been, um, yeah, we've been promoting the idea of these um, new uh, potential stats. So that was, um, we also we also made a bit of a, let's say, a video about it. Um, one of our engineers was kind enough to make a um, video. And um, in that video, they, they kind of talk through the actual uh, USB um, size potential stat itself, talk about how to put the actual um, screen printed electrodes, let's say, into the device. And then they do a sort of um, a measurement um, on the device. Um, and that's also one of the nice things about electrochemistry that the kind of to go from uh, experimental setup and first um, results can actually be quite quick. Um, so that was a little bit of um, news um, this week. It's nice to get some live feedback from African Math. So thanks very much for that. Um, I will sort of back up slightly now. So we talked about the USB potential stat this week. In in a similar vein, actually, you know, I, I sort of. The, the potential stat that we were talking about, I mean, it's very small, it's very compact, it's powered just by the USB port, and it's really optimized for taking, I would say, sort of screen printed electrodes. And now in the same vein, um, Zimmer and Peacock, I just want to say hi to Aftab this morning, nice to see you Aftab. In a similar vein, um, people have been asking us about mediated um, screen printed electrodes. So we have a new range of screen printed electrodes. They're based on our hypervalue um, screen printed electrodes, but they come in, um, you know, there's Prussian blue. So some people are interested in having a Prussian blue mediated screen printed electrodes. Some people are interested in methylene blue. Um, some people are interested in Maldala blue. We have ruthenium purple there and we have um, phenanthroline dione. A little bit of a rule of thumb is um, some of these ones with metal centers um, the ruthenium, I would say, and the Prussian blue. These kind of mediators are quite useful for things like oxidizing and reducing things like oxygen hydroperoxide. They're good at doing single electron transfers. Some of these more organic molecules, um, and by that I mean the methylene blue, the moldala blue, um, the phenanthylene dione, um, they're organic and what this means and they're, they're also what's called conjugated they're very good at doing um what we do what we describe as two electron two proton type oxidations and reductions so i would say the organic mediators are better for two electron oxidations or reductions and the um, organometallic the ruthenium centered ruthenium purple and the iron centered prussian blue are good for more sort of single electron um, oxidation things like hydrogen peroxide so we have a range of them. You choose it depending on what you're actually trying to do. There's a big sort of, you know, I would say, you know, if you're going to do um, NADH, you might um, you might use the more organic mediators. And if you're detecting hydroperoxide, you might use more organometallic um, mediators. And if you have any questions, then bring them into one of our forums. We'll probably answer it in one of our um, ZP Developer Zone um, webinars. Um, some other news from Zimmer Peacock this week. Um, I think there's two sides to Zimmer and Peacock. We're pretty strong um, science and engineering wise. And we also have a very sort of unique culture as well that um, 
you know, the guys in, in the teams, you know, they, they go out and they, you know, they sort of, um, you know, have a life, you know, out, together outside of the company. So this is an, a picture, if you're following along on the vlog, a picture of the team at a local climbing wall in, um, in Norway. And, you know, it just to give you a sense of the kind of cultural aspects that also go ar around the company as, um, as well. Um, now, this is just a quick picture that um, I was personally in Norway this week. And um, this is just a quick picture that I took of Evan. So Evan is the co-founder at um, Zimmer and Peacock. His name is Evan Zimmer. And he was just doing a presentation. So I thought it, we don't um, always talk so much about the Z in Zimmer and Peacock. Um, but I put a quick picture up there and a link also to a sort of biography on um, Evan Zimmer as well. Just to give you a sense of... Um, Evan really um, now some other news um, from Zimmer and Peacock this week this is again back to the kind of cultural aspects of it so um, I was in Norway this week and um, a bunch of the guys after work I heard that they were going to a bonfire and they sent me a picture of it and um, it just kind of shows you you know that um, ZP you know we have a, you know, a multi-generational business but some of the younger guys here they you know they, they built a bonfire in the countryside and they kind of had an evening together around the bonfire which is uh, you know a nice uh, expression of kind of you know of the of the culture that exists within the business um now we every thursday whereas this webinar tends to be um deliberately kind of focused on um news from zimmer and peacock some of the cultural aspects um some of the more commercial aspects some of the new products Every Thursday we do a webinar really around um, technical questions that come in from, you know, um, from other people, let's say. So this week we did a particular um, webinar on um, introduction to CGM, continuous glucose monitoring. We also did a touch upon um, microfluidics on screen printed electrodes. We also did a um, webinar on that as well. So every Sunday we do the kind of culture, um, we do the, the commercial aspects and every Thursday we do the technical questions that come into Zimmer and Peacock and we're happy to hold those kind of webinars. Um, now, some other sort of technical news from Zimmer and Peacock this week. We've been doing a lot of development recently in micro needles. So micro needles are kind of, they can be used for either sensing applications, they're also used for um, um, delivering drugs um, when I say drugs um, active pharmaceutical ingredients um, so they have kind of two aspects but they're good they're good ways of either getting sample um, across the skin or getting products into the skin and into the body so at ZP we do have um, quite a strong micro needles um, team and they've been um, active recently building these kind of micro needles and we're um, applying them into um, because of our background, you know, we're a sort of essentially a biosensor company. Then we've been applying them into um, more like biosensing applications rather than drug delivery. But on the website, we have put um, some images up of all the different, all the types of micro needles that we're now um, able to fabricate, and um, we are able to play these into um, our clients' projects. So you know, we, I just want to say hi to Ahmet this morning. Ahmet, nice to see you. I did see you on LinkedIn that you've, um, I think you've published your master's thesis on um, a, um, I see an open source potential stat. So I did notice that on LinkedIn. So nice to see you this morning. So we've, um, we have been doing a lot of work on micro needles and um, we put some images up on the website as well, um, just to illustrate the kind of range of um, needles that we actually have. Now, this is something that I, um, the next thing I want to talk about is at Zimmer and Peacock, we do a lot of, or we try to do a lot of webinars with universities um, where we will um, collaborate with the university. We will do a technical um, introduction to electrochemistry, the electrochemical techniques. We'll also do a webinar as well. Oh, sorry, a webinar. We'll also do live demos as well. So we do have a, um, a new webinar um, coming soon. It's with the University of Sunway or Sunway University in Malaysia. Um, there's a registration page on our website. 
Um, I can see that this is going to be starting at local time about 3 p.m. It's only, an, let's say, an hour and a half. There'll be an introduction from the university. There'll be some lecturing material from Zimmer Peacock. And there will also um, be um, some live demonstrations as well from Zimmer Peacock as well. So if you're interested in kind of just in some ways, for many of the people who attend this vlog, you know, you're already pretty good at electrochemistry. But if you want a refresher, um, maybe register for that um, webinar as well. And at the same time, if you're associated with the university and you think the university could benefit from a webinar from Zimmer and Peacock on the topics of electrochemistry, then we'd be happy to do that as well. And don't forget, these webinars are not just talking and showing we actually do live demonstrations as well so i think that they are more impactful um, because you actually for example we'll we'll talk about voltammetry and then we'll do an experiment on cyclic voltammetry and i think that is more interesting and impactful for the attendees um coming near to the end now but just thing i wanted to show this week was it's a bit of an um if you're watching the vlog rather than listening to the podcast it, it doesn't look like much, but what we're doing here is we have a stack of biosensors that are going out this week, and there's something like 50,000 biosensors in the stack of material. And this is a good example of, you know, at Zimmer and Peacock, you know, it's one thing to make a biosensor, but it's another thing to make 50,000 of them and be able to ship them out. And I suppose that's the that's the difference. You know, we, we, we generally go from um, lab development into product shipping and here we're shipping out 50,000 um, of our biosensors um, this week. So I'm coming near to the end now and um, a not this week but the week before we were um, in London there was a, um, a conference being held called um, um, BioWales in London and ZP we were attending we were exhibiting and we also gave a, um, a quick say 10 minute lecture um, and it was well received and we were, we were grateful for the organizers to let us do that um, and this is really a reflection that we do have a our latest office is in Wales and so we you know we were happy to kind of attend and um, be part of that so if I was to sort of summarize this um, this week I've personally been in Norway, hence we had the pictures of Evan and many of the cultural aspects that go, go on at ZP. We do actually have new products out this week. So I mentioned the mediated screen printed electrodes. And um, I think this is particularly relevant to Ahmet, who's online this morning. This is the um, a new, uh, very small scaled, um, or miniaturized potentiostat. Um, that ZP is doing, uh, which uh, works with screen printed electrodes and also works with our Julie system. So thank you very much um, for attending this week. Um, we have a new um, attendee this week, Africa Math um, dot Science. So thank you for that. I want to say thank you to Aftab. I will speak to you shortly. And Ahmet, nice to see you. And I did note on LinkedIn that you were talking about your um, your master's thesis and the potential that you develop there so happy to have a look at that master's thesis if it becomes available okay 